Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, the United States has been holding China's neck in the chip industry for decades. The most critical reason why China is constrained is that it has not mastered the manufacturing technology of lithography machines. Even if China really developed its own lithography machine later, some people still kept criticizing it, thinking that China had no way to develop further. However, just this month, good news came from China's lithography field. The Chinese Academy of Sciences has further improved this technology on the original basis. Knowing this, think about it, this was done without the help of any country. How did we do it? Everyone knows that for all kinds of precision instruments, chips are one of the most critical components. However, in order to produce a qualified chip, the support of lithography machines is indispensable. In the 1960s, when the world was still in the exploration stage of semiconductor technology, China had already begun the research and development journey of lithography machines. In 1965, China successfully developed the 65-type contact lithography machine. This major achievement not only attracted widespread attention in China, but also gave the international community a new understanding of China's scientific and technological strength. At that time, ASML, a latecomer in the field of lithography, had not yet been established, and China was undoubtedly ahead in the initial stage of this industry. However, just after the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and the United States in 1971, China's high-end technology transfer plan to the United States was influenced by the idea of it is better to buy than to make, and to some extent compromise. In addition, the domestic economic conditions were not ideal, and the research and development of cutting-edge technologies, such as lithography machines, was indeed a bit difficult. In this way, the research and development of lithography machines entered a stagnation period of nearly 20 years to some extent. During this period of stagnation, ASML rose rapidly with the strong support of Europe and the United States. They not only gathered Western scientific and technological forces, but also received full support from semiconductor industry giants such as TSMC, Samsung and Intel. With the advantage of integrating the global supply chain, ASML has made great strides in the research and development of lithography machines and quickly emerged as a leader in the industry. Later, when China took action again, it found that the gap between itself and ASML in the field of lithography machines was really large. Whether in terms of technology or the integration of the global supply chain, it was really difficult to catch up. Coupled with the technological blockade and supply chain restrictions of Europe and the United States, China cannot easily obtain the world's most advanced supply chain resources like ASML, and can only rely on its own strength to carry out research and development. Faced with such a daunting challenge, the Chinese lithography machine research and development team chose to face the challenge. With their unswerving determination and love for science and technology, they continue to overcome technical difficulties. After years of hard work, China's domestic lithography machines have made significant progress. Now, our domestic lithography machines can produce top dry DUV lithography machines with a resolution of 65 nanometers and below and an overlay accuracy of 8 nanometers and below and are only one step away from the successful development of immersion DUV lithography machines. Compared with ASML, China's lithography machines still have a gap, but this gap is slowly narrowing. This is really the result of China's hard work over the years. Since the early 1970s, China has made many major advances in the field of semiconductor equipment. In 1970, the successful development of electron beam exposure machines and step-by-step -step repeat lithography machines marked an important step forward in China's lithography technology. In 1978, the Institute of Semiconductors of the Chinese Academy of Sciences launched the research and development of the JK, 
one semi-automatic proximity lithography machine, and successfully passed the institute-level appraisal in 1980. In the 1980s, China's lithography technology had begun to develop gradually, but at that time it was not competitive enough, and could only be regarded as just starting. However, in 1985, the 45th Institute of the Ministry of Mechanical and Electrical Engineering successfully developed the BG-101 step-by-step lithography machine. The performance indicators of this machine were comparable to the 4800 DSW system of the American GCA company, fully demonstrating the international competitiveness of China's lithography technology. In the same year, the scanning projection lithography machine of the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Precision Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences also successfully passed the appraisal marking China's zero breakthrough in the field of large-scale integrated circuit special equipment. On March 25, 2025, the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS, announced that its research team had successfully developed a solid-state deep ultraviolet, DUV, laser technology that can emit 193 nanometer coherent light. The wavelength of this technology is exactly the same as the wavelength of the light source of the DUV exposure technology commonly used in the field of semiconductor lithography, which means that China has taken a big step forward in semiconductor lithography technology. Relying on complex harmonic generation and optical parametric amplification technology, the research team of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has finally successfully produced a 193 nanometer laser with an average power of 70 milliwatts at a repetition frequency of 6 kHz, after some efforts. This achievement not only makes up for China's shortcomings in solid-state deep ultraviolet laser technology, but also provides a new direction for the further development of semiconductor lithography technology. In the field of deep ultraviolet coherent light, 193 nanometer light waves have become the core technology for manufacturing advanced semiconductor chips because they can achieve high precision lithography processes. Traditional DUV lithography machines mainly use argon fluoride, RF, eczema laser technology. Although this technology is quite effective, it also has some disadvantages, such as high gas consumption, relatively complex system, and high maintenance costs. In order to meet these challenges, the research team of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has opened up a new path and launched a new DUV laser technology based on solid-state design. This new technology does not use rare gases, but uses a homemade YBYAG crystal amplifier to generate 1,030 nanometer lasers. After complex steps such as fourth harmonic conversion and optical parametric amplification, 193 nanometer coherent light is finally obtained. This innovation not only simplifies the design complexity and volume of the system, but it is also said that it may greatly reduce energy consumption. The team of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has set a new record in the experiment. For the first time, they have achieved the achievement of solid state laser generating 193 nanometer vortex beams. This vortex beam is not ordinary. It carries orbital angular momentum and has unique physical properties, which brings many potential application opportunities to cutting-edge fields such as micro-nanostructure detection and quantum chip manufacturing. Although the solid-state DUV laser technology developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences is still somewhat behind the commercial eczema laser system in output power and frequency, its huge potential and broad application prospects are indeed impressive. With the rapid rise of China's semiconductor industry chain and the rapid progress of domestic technology, the future of domestic lithography machines will definitely be more brilliant. Once China develops immersion DUV lithography machines, or even EUV lithography machines, China's chip industry will be able to completely break free from the shackles of external pressure and usher in broader development opportunities and unlimited potential.